Good morning, students. So, 12th standard physics. So, in this class, we are going to discuss about Curie's law and Curie-Weiss law. So, Curie's law is paramagnetic materials. So, if temperature is increased, so we are heating the paramagnetic material. So, the magnetic moment value decreases. That is due to the thermal vibration will upset the alignment of magnetic dipole moment due to the heating. So, we are increasing the temperature, the thermal thermal vibrations produced due to the temperature will upset the alignment of magnetic dipole moment. So, magnetic dipole moment is somewhat related with magnetic susceptibility. So, magnetic dipole moment is more, magnetization is more. So, magnetic susceptibility is inversely proportional to temperature. So, if you increase the temperature, magnetic susceptibility value decreases. So, magnetic susceptibility is equal to C by T. C is a Curie's constant, T is a temperature in Kelvin. So, see the graph. If you plot magnetic susceptibility versus temperature, you will get a rectangular hyperbola. So, at initial C, at this point, that is the magnetic susceptibility, its maximum. So, psi 1 is maximum, temperature is minimum. If you increase the temperature, so temperature is increased to T2. So, what is the value of magnetic susceptibility? So, magnetic susceptibility for second case is minimum, it is reduced. If temperature is maximum so temp if you increase the temperature what will happen magnetic susceptibility value decreases that is magnetization it is how fast it is magnetized is decreased the next curie weiss law so it is for ferromagnetic materials again same as the temperature is increases ferromagnetism decreases due to the increased thermal agitation of atomic dipoles so at particular temperature ferromagnetic materials becomes paramagnetic materials so that temperature is curie temperature again same if you increase the temperature ferromagnetism decreases due to the increased thermal agitation in the atomic dipoles so there is a loss of ferromagnetism at particular temperature ferromagnetic material become paramagnetic material that temperature is called curie temperature so magnetic susceptibility is equal to c by t minus tc so t is in temperature tc is a at Curie temperature, so at what temperature, what is the magnetic susceptibility is calculated using that Curie's constant C and T and T, T and then transition temperature, that is Curie temperature. Here transition temperature means at particular temperature, ferro becomes para. For example, iron is a ferromagnetic material. At 1000 degrees Celsius, ferro becomes para. So, iron becomes paramagnetic material. That 1000 temperature is a Curie temperature, that is also called transition temperature from ferro to paramagnetic material then so spin the final one spin so spin is responsible for the magnetic properties of a material so already we know the orbital motion of electrons produces a magnetic field perpendicular to the orbital plane so it's responsible the spin of electrons is responsible for the magnetic properties of material so electron spin is half so in the presence of magnetic field so the electron may spin parallel or anti-parallel. So see the picture. So magnetic field goes from bottom to top. So what is the direction of? So the electron is parallel to the magnetic field. So spin is up. So that m is equal to plus 1 by 2. If it is anti-parallel, so this is parallel, this is anti-parallel. So one upward, one downward direction. So spin down. So the electron spin is minus 1 by 2. So it depends upon in presence of magnetic field what is the spin that is the alignment of electron then the spin for proton and neutron is 1 by 2 so they may ask in one marks then spin for both photon so photon so we'll study in the second volume so photon is h mu that is quanta of energy or packets of energy for photon spin is s is equal to 1 so in this class you have discussed Curie's law and Curie Weiss law and spin. So Curie's law, so if you increase the temperature, magnetic susceptibility value decreases. Same, if you increase the temperature, ferromagnetism decreases. At particular temperature, ferro becomes para, that is Curie temperature. Then final one, spin. So spin is the most responsible for the magnetic properties. For electrons, if it is placed in magnetic field, the spin is up or down. If it is up means if it is parallel to the magnetic field that is plus 1 by 2. If it is anti-parallel means minus 1 by 2. So spin for proton and neutron. 
that is s is equal to 1 by 2 for photon that is packets of energy or quant of energy that is equal to 1 okay students thank you